EA Sports. It's in the game. In the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls they love and hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. now. Right pocket got euros. Euro. Left pocket got pound. Now. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. now. Throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left. Touchdown. Touchdown. A floor. Come down. Hotel. Lobby. Receptionist. What now? 11 a.m. Check out. my give her one foul just to tell her it's one now. How come? I need rest. No recess on my schedule. Right. Mama used to serve vegetables. Now half the meals got tentacles. Right. Half the errands seen a reservation and half my money goes straight to taxes. But I don't trip about it. That's what happens when you got dreams closer than a match. And plus all your boys got expensive habits. Go. I know what they're thinking. They don't even got to say it. Nope. They thinking they just made it. I know how to make everybody feel famous. famous. I don't got to work no day shift. day shift. I don't got to split no payment. payment. I don't got to answer questions. Right. And I don't need YouTube. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. 30 in the pocket, no change. Okay, I might pass the ball, but this is no game. Okay, all my girls they love and hate me the same. Okay, so when I die, I ain't gonna be from old age. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. Now, right pocket got euros. Left pocket got pound. Somebody gonna want revenge. Somebody might want it now. Now, throw the ball with the right hand, catch with the left touchdown. Hey. Dash, got it on, smash, foot on the gas. I would not crash, they would not stop me. Tempo, copy, end zone, watch me, celebrate. I'm cocky, I do my dance, jump in the stands. No man, no man. Okay, coach. Well, the road ends here. It has been a wild, often unpredictable 2019 season. And now it's time for the greatest spectacle in all of sports. Super Bowl 54 from Miami. You know, this town has played host to 10 Super Bowls in the past. And tonight, we write chapter number 11. And what a matchup we've got. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. As it'll be the defending champion, New England it, Patriots, baby. taking on the NFC baby. champions, the Chicago Bears. Baby. Now Michelle, Brandon going alongside baby. Charles Davis. Charles, the Patriots, they did it again. Their 12th Super Bowl appearance ever. That's a record as they seek to go back-to-back, -back, something that hasn't been done in the NFL since Super Bowls 38 and 39 were won by the Patriots. <laughs> so you just have to marvel a little bit, don't you? How they get this done year in and year out? How do they get there? Because I just wonder at some level, 
do we take them for granted? Their excellence. You just kind of count on it, right? They're going to win the AFC East. They're going to have the home field advantage to the playoffs. They're going to get to the Super Bowl. None of that is easily done. Yet every year we're talking about the Patriots possibly, you know, getting it done and adding to their record books. They're trying to make it three wins in four years. The only teams to do that, the Dallas Cowboys in the 90s and... These Patriots in the early 2000s. Meanwhile, the turnaround has been a sharp one for these Chicago Bears. 19 and 45. That was their record from 2014 through 17. Then the division title last year. Everybody remembers the double doink in the playoffs. But now the Bears are back looking for what would be just their second Super Bowl title. Of course, you know they won plenty of of titles prior to the Super Bowl coming into existence. They won eight NFL titles. Who will ever forget Papa Bear, George Hallis leading that franchise. But they have made two appearances in the big game itself. They won Super Bowl 20, pounded the Patriots, one of the most dominant performances we've ever seen. And then they lost to Peyton Manning and the Colts in Super Bowl 41. Can this team do their own Super Bowl shuffle and grab the Lombardi Trophy and bring it back to Chicago? Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. On the run, this is Hunt. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation... Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Here's Locke. Incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. This is Hunt. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 31-yard line. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10, down at the 31. A first carry now for Wendell Smallwood. And room there to work it inside the 25. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. From the 24, Luck, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. They'll try to run for the first down with Hunt. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. From the red zone now, Locke. He'll buy some time right. And this is going to be incomplete. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. 
Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And they'll hustle up to stop him well shy of the first, right around the 15. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. The kick by Pinheiro is good. Not the touchdown they wanted, but hey, you're on the road in the playoffs. They did get three on the board. Yeah, it's a good opening drive, so you feel good about it yourself. You get to the sidelines. The defense feels good about you helping them right out of the gate. The team, yeah, they feel pretty good about coming in in the playoffs and getting points on the board right away. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. 20. Mike, 58, right there. Let's go one more. And 58 is the mic. Go 58 is the mic. We got it, we got it. Kill, kill, kill. Kill. Throwing on check, third check, down, check, Newton. Check, check, check. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. He rifles one that's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. They'll fake it. Now Locke. And he's got his man. That's Robinson. Touchdown Bears. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. As the Bears push further out in front. But what a quick turnaround there. They get the football. Next play, boom, touchdown. I've been in a situation before where a turnover occurs. If you're over on the bench with your defensive mate and you talk about what to do on your next series, and all of a sudden you hear sudden change, you've got to get out on the field and defend right away. Not everyone is mentally prepared to go. Is that what is yelled on the sidelines a lot of times? That, among other things. <laughs> Maybe some words we can't share here. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep this one PG. FCC violation. No doubt. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So, here's second and four. From the gun, they run with Michelle. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Third and two, Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack there by Roquan Smith. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. They'll run it here with Hunt. And he's got some space here. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw. Lock. And that's complete to Adams. 
And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Hey, that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. On second down, it's Hunt. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. On third down, here's Hunt. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. Now, after the run by Hunt, here's first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Two minutes even on the clock in the first half of Super Bowl 54. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, but, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Devin McCourty picks it off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now following the interception, here's Newton. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. We got double up, double up. Back to the air, Newton on second down. And oh, look at that, a diving catch. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Now a first down throw for Newton. That's to his running back, Sony Michelle. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. As they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Newton throwing again. And he fires one that's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Did I just see what I thought? That had to be. Come on, say it for me. Say it for me. Who picked up that pass? The free safety. Oh, you got to have those great skills back there. Eyes, anticipation, great hands. And, of course, how about the fluid moves afterwards to take it all the way to the house? Sounds like you're watching your old game film up here in your head. Yo, that's the dream I had of being that player. I just never was. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're down. You don't down, want to. You know, but let me finish. Okay, You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, it I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. To throw once more on second and 10. Newton, that's out to his running back, Michelle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. On first down, it's Newton. And he'll get that to Michelle, complete. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. To the air again, Newton. He's going to float this over the middle. This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Demir Bird. 
55 yards as they are now on the board here in the first half. Now for the point after. And it's 17-7. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting and the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. So we've reached halftime here in the 2020 Super Bowl, Super Bowl 54. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. The never tedious halftime show behind us, and now it's back to football as we get going again in Super Bowl 54. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. On first down, Rock. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard. Maybe from you. I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Luck on first down. Going to let one fly for Robinson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Call it a loss of eight yards on the play, and it'll make this a second and long. Gun, gun, gun. Now Newton, he'll get this into the hands of Bird. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, Newton. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. And that'll get him the first down as they get nine yards out of that quick slant. Now a first down carry. It's Michelle. 
Eddie Jackson with a tackle. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Robert Quinn credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Third and long, it's Newton. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter, standing just outside his own goal line. There, yeah, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. 22 yards there, a first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Now a first down throw, Lock. It's complete to Robinson. A good pickup, 17 yards and a bare first down. On first and ten, Locke going for it all. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. And he is going to be stopped on the return at his own three-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. A running play on first down, and it turns into a fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Tackle was made by Joel E.A. Booneyway. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Throwing on second down. Newton is going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. New England on third down. Just one for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. From the gun, here's Newton. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Newton on first down. Throw caught here by Bird. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Newton now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Here's Newton. Into the hands of Bird over the middle. The 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Demir Bird, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game point after right down the middle and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter this is fielded at the goal line and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line
The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping to you on the other side of the ball. Said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. On second down now, it's Hunt, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. On first down, they'll run with Hunt, and he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And now he'll tuck it and run. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. That was a good, strong run for a first down. And they are just dominating right now on this drive. They've stayed on the field, which consequently means the opposition's offense can't get out there and score any points. The clock showing two minutes even in what's been a Let's memorable go, Super Let's Bowl go. 54. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first down in field goal range already. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. That one is caught by Hunt. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. 23 yards for the touchdown. As the Bears push further out in front. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tummy. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Throwing again on second down. Newton got his man, Robbie Anderson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now it's Newton. And he slings one that's incomplete. Nikhil Harry was the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Newton to throw. Catch is made by Harry. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Now a desperation throw deep, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. And he'll be upended after a gain of five, up to the 25-yard line. The corner, Stephon Gilmore on the stop. Here's a second and five now from the 25. They run again with Hunt. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college and happen in the NFL. The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. And these Chicago Bears have etched their name in NFL history. They are your Super Bowl champions.